exclusive contracted novel by Felu Novel Network. Voyage, retired veteran, awakening you and Lucy template travel to the world of pirates. As a traveler with a golden finger awakening condition that is surprisingly bizarre to the age of 60. Bai Yi resolutely chose to join the navy as a force. As I fish and clock in day by day. He has experienced the rise and fall of various sea monster eras. To this day, the top war is imminent. Bai Yi, who became a veteran, is preparing to retire. I don't want to get into trouble again. Unexpectedly, the town that had lived for over thirty years by day and night was destroyed due to the inability to pay the heavenly gold. Witnessing all the white knights. With the Yamamoto Motonari Shigamoto template provided by the system, I chose to break my peaceful life for the first time. Decided to seek revenge on this chaotic world. Since this is a world where the weak cannot survive, let me personally break it. The forest is diverse, everything is ashes. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Listing Commitment Letter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Adhere to originality and eliminate non-compliant commitment letters I guarantee that this signed work belongs to my own original work, and I will strictly follow the Felu Writers' Convention during the creation process. I insist on originality and prevent the following violations. If there are any violations, I am willing to bear all the consequences arising from it 1. Ensure that the signed work belongs to one's own original work and does not involve plagiarism or plot plagiarism in Chinese translation 2. Ensure that no third-party works or plot are plagiarized during the creative process 3. Ensure that this work is first published and the only contracted website on Felu Novel Network 4. Ensure compliance with laws and regulations during the creative process. Including but not limited to, violations such as not involving politics, not involving pornography, gambling, drugs, promoting cults, not ghostwriting, not blocking or abolishing manuscripts, not hosting, not selling works or accounts, etc. 5. Ensure that regardless of the word count of the work, the signed work must complete the plot, never end, and never stop or end Fei Lu's novel. Fei wants you to look good. 001, Retired Navy Veteran at the Age of 60 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Haiyuan Calendar 1520, Beihai G.64 Naval Branch The weather is clear and cloudless for thousands of miles. Ding! It has been detected that the host is over 60 years old, DDD. System Awakening System Awakening completed. The current host has two options. Option 1. Restore to youthful peak state and start a new life, Option 2. Obtain the Yamamoto Motonari Yashisada Shigakuni template from the Grim Reaper and obtain random unlock progress. After traveling here for 40 years, my golden fingers finally awakened. Bai Yi, who had already submitted his application for retirement from the Navy, stood at the port, looking at the two options in front of him and couldn't help but show his complexity. Coming into this world by chance. And it coincided with the time of the Sea Hegemon, the Walker of the Rocks era. He can't be said to be too bad as a passerby. But it's definitely not that good. There are no golden fingers, nor the innate monster talents of the pirate world. Even if you exercise day after day no matter what. They are destined to be unable to compete with those innate monsters on the sea. Witnessing with my own eyes the death of a person around me. This is the cruel reality. The weak find it difficult to survive in this vast sea. So. For a sufficiently stable life. Bai Yi chose to join the navy as a force. That's it. As I clock in and fish out every day at work, it goes by day by day. He witnessed the most heinous era of the Rock's pirates in history. I also witnessed firsthand the rise of Roger the pirates from the news. Until now, war is imminent at the top. Forty years have passed. Although Bai Yi did not have children. But at the age of twenty, 
Bai Yi has now become a member of the remnants of the old era at the age of 60. To this day, as a naval colonel in the local branch of the North Sea, Bai Yi has officially submitted his application for naval retirement. The golden finger finally appeared. It has to be said that Bai Ye's mood is extremely complex. Option 1 can help me regain my youthful peak. And have a new life. Option 2. Is this directly empowering? Facing the two options in front of you. White Knight's inner statement that there is no fluctuation is false. Restore youthfulness this means he can start his life again. And Option 2. The template for Yamamoto Motonari Yoshitaka Shigamoto. I vaguely remember the White Knight. This is Reaper Anime, the founder and first generation captain of the Corpse Soul Realm Guardian 13 team. At the same time, it has the strongest attack power, highest temperature, and largest range attack among all Death God Soul Slaying Sabers, and is known as the strongest and oldest Soul Slaying Saber of the Flame series. The Flowing Blade is like fire. It cannot be denied. Two options. Placed in front of anyone, it is full of full temptation. However, White Knight has submitted a naval retirement application. At this moment, I don't want to get involved in the chaotic era ahead. On the day before the awakening of the Golden Finger, Bai Yi had already planned for the next step. Wait for retirement from the Navy this time. Bai Yi is preparing to settle completely in a town where he has lived for over 30 years. Although he is a traveler, 30 years is enough to give Bai Yi a second hometown to care about in this world. As for the chaotic era outside. At his current age, he has no intention of participating and doesn't want to get into trouble again. 40 years of time. Suddenly. A startled shout interrupted Bai Ye's thoughts at this moment. What's going on? Look over at the sea. Is there a fire over there? No, it's like shelling. The cries of surprise echoed with many navies in the port. Upon hearing this, Bai Ye's gaze couldn't help but suddenly take a look. The reason is not for anything else. That's the direction of the town where Bai Yi has been living for over 30 years. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. 002, select the Yamamoto Motonari Yashisada Shigido template. You are listening at novelfull.audio. What's going on? Bai Ye's face suddenly changed. This is the headquarters of the Navy's G.64 branch in the North Sea, just across the sea from the town where I live. Even the rampant pirates in the North Sea. Looking at the flag of the naval branch. I absolutely dare not act so recklessly. The instinct of serving in the Navy for 40 years didn't make Bai Yi think much. He ordered the branch Navy to assemble. Go immediately to eliminate those enemies. However, just as the naval forces of the foot branch quickly gathered and set off. A heavy command voice suddenly stopped everyone. The navy of G.64 branch is not allowed to deploy without orders from the headquarters. The sound came very suddenly. Afterwards, a navy officer came running with a phone worm in his hand, and the sound just now came from the phone worm. The people below turned ugly upon hearing these words. What are you joking about? That's where we're bombarding the town right under our noses. That's right, can we let pirates be so rampant? Many navies were puzzled and gritted their teeth. Upon hearing this, Bai Ye's face suddenly darkened. The telephone worm remained silent for a moment. I spoke again. I am a lieutenant general from the navy headquarters, and some of you may have heard of it. What? Major General. General Flying Squirrels. Why would they still issue orders? Upon hearing these words, the hearts of the Navy present were shaken. Lieutenant General of the Flying Squirrel that's a rear admiral in the Navy headquarters. And a naval lieutenant general. How could someone deliberately issue such orders through a phone worm? Everyone is puzzled. The sound of the flying squirrel continued to ring from the telephone worm. 
In terms of reasons, the Navy of G-64 branch only needs to know one thing. The towns that have been wiped out now are under normal sanctions due to the inability to pay the heavenly gold on time. The world government has already ordered people to report to the Navy headquarters, and now I am only responsible for transmitting orders through the telephone worm. The words fell. The Navy, whose hearts were shaken in the presence, couldn't help but widen their eyes, flickering with disbelief. Over there who is targeting innocent civilians in the town? People of the world government. A huge object that made everyone present unable to breathe instinctively appeared in their minds. Looking towards the direction of a town that has been mercilessly destroyed by artillery fire and turned into a desolate ruin the present navy collectively chose to remain silent. That's a person from the world government a colossal creature that has stood tall in this world for 800 years without collapsing. Even the navy is only dependent on institutions under the world government. In other words, that's not something that ordinary naval officers can intervene in. The atmosphere is silent. Suddenly, a voice without any concern for the world government finally sounded with a cold questioning tone. Is it possible to simply let civilians go unchecked just because they are members of the world government, even if the sky's gold is a cover? The crowd instinctively looked around. I saw this old soldier with gray hair and no trace of time left on his sturdy body. Yes, it's Colonel White Knight. Mr. White Knight. Baiyi served in the Navy for forty years. He is now the colonel of the G.64 Naval Branch under his feet. So everyone present in the Navy knows this retired naval colonel. And feeling the coldness in the tone of the White Knight, everyone knows the truth. The reason is very simple. That town that was mercilessly destroyed by the world government's artillery fire. It is the town where Colonel White Knight has been living for over thirty years. There are also Mr. Baye's relatives up there. The feeling of witnessing the destruction of my hometown with my own eyes what kind of anger is it, oppressive? In another section of the foam worm, the flying squirrel faces questioning. The flying squirrel did not answer immediately. Because even if I know the truth that Bai Yi said in my heart. Heavenly gold actually, it's just a facade. The original intention of this destructive operation. It is an example set by the world government to give to those disobedient kingdoms in the North Sea. And choose a town near the naval government branch. The purpose is self-evident. That is when the world government is clearly informing all forces in the North Sea. Even if they destroy a town in front of the navy, where everyone knows there are only innocent civilians, they will not be obstructed in any way. World Governments Acting is so carefree and domineering, there is no need to explain any reason to the weak. The suppressed atmosphere of silence was maintained like this. The white knight's gaze swept over the silent navy present, and ultimately fell on the telephone worm. Okay. Since the Navy can't handle it. Take off the Navy shirt with the word, Justice, engraved on it, revealing a spotless white shirt underneath. Nearby, everyone in the Navy's face slightly changed upon seeing this. Bai Yi looked at a tall Navy with dark skin. Carrie. Here. Mr. White Knight. From today on, you will be the Colonel. What, what? The tall navy with dark skin is unbelievable. Immediately, Carrie's heart was not excited to become a colonel. Or rather his face changed slightly. Is Colonel White Knight planning to disobey orders from the navy headquarters? What do you mean? Pay attention to your words. Navy. A cold voice once again emanated from the flying squirrel in the foam worm. Pay attention to your speech. Bai Yi threw his navy jacket directly under his feet. Witnessing the town that was destroyed by artillery fire in the North Sea. The cloudy eyes of Bai Yi, who had already grown tired of the times, showed a hint of coldness. I have retired and have nothing to do with the navy. Do you still need to care about cowardly nonsense? The next moment. Bai Yi chose the second option without hesitation. The template for Yamamoto Motonari Yoshitaka Shigamoto. 
Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. 003, Unlock Template 60 Progress Directly. Flowing blade like fire. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ding, the host has selected the template for Yamamoto Motonari Yoshitaka Shigakuni. The template for Yamamoto Motonari Yashisada Shigakuni is currently being loaded. Template is randomly unlocking progress. As Bai Yi made a choice about his 60 year old awakened golden finger. In an instant, accompanied by an incredibly powerful force constantly pouring into Bai Ye's body, flowing through all four limbs and bones. Vision began to become incredibly clear. Hearing began to become incredibly sensitive. Under the spotless white shirt, the muscles began to bulge. At the same time, from the inside out, the aura emanating from Bai Ye's elderly body. This moment has also changed. If the old colonel in everyone's eyes was a soon-to-be-retired veteran, so faced the white knight at this moment. What everyone saw in front of them seemed to be a lion full of oppression. Even in old age, there is a chilling aura emanating from one's body. The scariest thing is. The elderly lion opened its eyes. Ding, the host randomly unlocks 60% progress of the current template, Yamamoto Motonari Yashisada Shigakuni. Soul Slaying Blade Flowing blade like fire, unlocked, can be summoned, death god ability. Ghost path, unlocked, body technique. One bone, unlocked, 60 progress. At this moment, White Knight's five fingers clenched tightly, with bulging veins faintly visible. Feeling the unprecedented strength within this elderly body. Bai Yi looked at the town where he had lived for over thirty years, and now the short film has been mercilessly destroyed by the world government fleet's artillery fire. It's already enough. The cold in the eyes of Bai Yi is even stronger. At this point, the phone worm next to Bai Yi once again heard the voice of a naval lieutenant flying squirrel. Unlike at the beginning, this time it was with a cold and threatening intent. You. Colonel Bai Yi, the head of G.64 branch. But think about your decision. Even if you are about to retire, the Navy doesn't mind looking for a veteran. Ha <laughs> ha. Upon hearing this, disdain flashed in the cold eyes of Bai Yi. Wanted me, a sixty-year-old veteran. Thinking about the future outcome of former General Zifa. I thought the world government was rotten enough. Now it seems that the senior management of the naval government is also the same. Then you can try it to your heart's content. Bai Yi didn't hesitate to take that phone worm. People who are carefree are the most terrifying. The retired white knight now. With the destruction of distant towns. Then there was no more scruples. You. The sound of flying squirrels has just begun. Bai Yi had already smashed it to the ground and crushed it. At the same time. Naval Headquarters. Bastard. As a Navy officer, I should have ignored orders from our headquarters. The flying squirrel suddenly stood up and looked at the unreachable foam worm in its hand, with veins visible on its forehead. As a true hawkish Navy. Although flying squirrels are not attractive to the world government for their destructive actions in the North Sea. But in the eyes of the flying squirrel. To achieve certain goals. Sometimes sacrificing by any means is necessary. Even if the target is innocent civilians. Sacrifice is inevitable for the sake of the overall situation. But now. The naval branch under its command that should have unconditionally obeyed the headquarters. Surprisingly, someone chose to disobey orders in public. This is something that flying squirrels, as naval lieutenants, cannot tolerate no matter what. Especially as the head of a naval branch. A veteran who has served in the Navy for 40 years. As a Navy veteran who is now as high as 60 years old, he doesn't even understand this basic principle. This made the flying squirrel remember this veteran named Bai Yi even more in its heart. However, even so. The flying squirrel did not take this matter too seriously at the moment. 
In his opinion, many navies within the G.64 naval branch located in the North Sea would not dare to intervene in this matter. After all, they are people from governments around the world. As for the veteran Bailly, a hint of disdain and coldness flashed in the eyes of the flying squirrel. A veteran who should have been eliminated from the old era. Are you qualified to rely on one person? Want to challenge the naval government, or even shake the behemoth of the world government that has stood firm for 800 years? Don't say he's a veteran. Even the four emperors in the New World, known as the Sea Emperors. White beard. It's not possible either. The flying squirrel's eyes were filled with confidence. It shows his unwavering determination to take action against the Navy headquarters, despite the fact that the outside world is flying around and Ace is being arrested. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. 004, The Beginning of the Flames of Revenge. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At the same time. Beihai. G.64 Naval Branch. The flying squirrel was unaware of the retired veteran who had not been taken seriously by him this time. What kind of revenge actions will be taken next to cause a sensation throughout the world? At this moment, White Knight has already begun its actions. He did not bring any G.64 branch navy. Or rather, as a retired veteran. He has no further connection to the navy system. Alone, on a boat. He came to the town streets where children occasionally greeted him in his memory yesterday. Witnessing the town now shrouded in corpses of children and adults, blood, ruins, and smoke. All the suffering of this human purgatory has been brought to our sight. Bai Yi didn't say a word or a word more. Just jumped back onto a single person sized ship. Caught up with the world government fleet that destroyed their own town for thirty years. The Azure Sea. Seagulls skimmed across the sky. Several huge world government fleets are sailing. It's really boring. I thought it was a piece of fat, but I didn't expect to have even a little bit of fuel and water. I don't even need to make up the reason why it's not enough to pay the heavenly gold. Ha ha ha, you haven't seen the fun of those despairing commoners. It's a pity that there aren't many people up there, so it's a pity to die too quickly. Otherwise, this incident would have been recorded using a projection phone worm, and it would have been more interesting to offer to Lord Rose for fun than playing with dead slaves in the Holy Land. On the deck, several members of the world government who were not fully engaged were excitedly discussing. As for the fleet passing through the lifeless town filled with corpses, blood, and smoke filling the sky. For them, it's like crushing an ant on the roadside at will. In fact, it is indeed so. As a person dispatched by the world government to collect heavenly gold. Thanks to the reputation of the world government and the dual protection status of the Tianlong people. Don't say it's a town where ordinary people gather. Even the kings of some kingdoms should show respect and attitude in front of them. So when I heard that this mission was actually to destroy an island. They looked forward to it for a while. After all, there are not many entertainment activities that can easily crush insects. I didn't expect their fleet from the great route to have too strong firepower. In no time, he died completely. This left many people on the deck feeling bored. Sure enough, it's more interesting to go to other kingdoms in the North Sea to collect heavenly gold. A member of the world government shook his head and his gaze suddenly drifted towards the G.64 naval branch behind him, jokingly saying. If only the nearby branch could be included in this attack target, he he. Kill the navy. Forget it, at least he's a good obedient dog under our banner. Without Lord Ross' consent, the crime of destroying a naval branch without authorization would be very serious. Yeah. One person followed and nodded in agreement towards the G.64 branch. He is about to continue speaking. Suddenly. Hmm. A world government official with a scar on his face suddenly stood up on the deck of the fleet. Staring at the sea behind the fleet, he spoke up. 
speaking of which, I didn't expect there to be a bold guy staring at us. A bold guy. What? Where is it? The rest of the world government officials who felt unhappy just now quickly got up. Immediately, they looked towards their companion with scars on their faces. Soon. Within the reach of one's gaze. On the blue sea. They saw that so. called bold guy. I saw an old man with gray hair, wearing a spotless white shirt, alone, and riding on a small boat at his feet, who arrived at the back of their fleet at an unknown time. Is that an old guy who's about to go to the ground? Hey! Are you joking? What does this old thing want to do? It's not interesting. I thought I had encountered an unknown pirate, and someone dared to provoke the flag of the world government. When they saw the person's image clearly, they pursed their lips. This kind of old guy who will be eliminated by the times. What interest can they bring up? Believe it or not, can anyone give up a hand and easily solve that kind of old guy? Okay, but then again. Hmm. The scarred man who first noticed the old guy behind the fleet suddenly glanced slightly. What is he going to do? Doubts arise. I saw a small boat alone on the sea. The old thing, they see as something that should be eliminated in the old era has a Thai Dao that looks so ordinary that it can no longer be ordinary. Immediately. With the emergence of such thoughts. Vaguely the man with scars on his face changed slightly, and he couldn't help but look up at the cloudless sky. What's going on? It is clear that the sea has already passed the hottest period of noon. The temperature at sea seems to suddenly rise inexplicably. Unconsciously. With sweat appearing on the forehead. The man with a scar on his face looked back at the figure behind the fleet riding alone on the ship. His face suddenly changed drastically. No no, this is not an illusion. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. 005, take action, kill. You are listening at novelfull.audio. On the single boat where Bai Yi is located. Cloudless for thousands of miles, under a clear sky. 1. 2. 3. A murmuring voice sounded from the mouth of Bai Yi. With Bai Ye's ordinary looking ancient Tai Dao horizontally aligned. A scene flashed before my eyes of witnessing the tragedy of human purgatory. In Bai Ye's eyes, only coldness remained. In this way, it's enough to leave some lucky people to ask questions. Thoughts arise. Centered around this moment of white night. The temperature at sea has clearly passed the hottest noon period. However, at this moment. The temperature nearby is climbing at a visible speed to the naked eye. The sea is gradually boiling underwater fish flee wildly. The sea breeze blows, but the refreshing sea breeze is like a knife transformed from rolling heat waves, hitting the face of all life. At the same time, without hesitation, Bai swung his hand with a flowing blade like fire, producing a horizontal slash. In an instant. Buzz. Schwa. This is like an endless flame burning over the entire sky, pouring out towards the world government fleet at sea. Burning. City wall. So. What is that? On the fleet where the world government is located. The moment when endless flames pour wildly. It was only then that members of the world government suddenly discovered that there was something wrong with the temperature on the sea. They couldn't help but instinctively look around. Attempting to find the mastermind behind all of this at present. However. The endless flames that were cut out with a single blow poured down on the sea at a diffuse speed, so fast, so fast. Not giving them any reaction time or hope at all. When you feel the flames from behind that contain terrifying temperatures sweeping across the sky. Three fleets under the world government are almost instantly engulfed by endless flames. Under the scorching sun. From afar, the entire North Sea G.64 naval branch is in the usual Blue Sea. Unexpectedly, 
it turned into a blazing sea of flames in an instant. And in the terrifying endless flames of the sky. It is the world government fleet that was originally destroyed and slaughtered, preparing to leave safely. This terrifying scene naturally fell into the eyes of all the navies of the G.64 naval branch not far away. Looking at the suddenly emerging endless sea of fire and the flames that can occupy the sea, the navy of G.64 branch stayed in place for half a day. Afterwards, he regained consciousness and instinctively looked at each other. You can see a tremble and disbelief in each other's eyes. Or in other words, faced with a scene that almost overturned their worldview in the distance at sea, they all thought of one person together. Alone, an old colonel detached from the navy. But the problem is Mr. Bailly surprisingly possesses such terrifying strength. Surprisingly, it has never been revealed. The kind of monster that is almost as rumored to live in seclusion among the people surprisingly, they have been living silently in their branch all along. I never thought about exposing myself. I'm afraid that if it weren't for witnessing the destruction of his hometown, the old colonel with such terrifying strength would not have shown his true strength, would he? The navy present sighed in their hearts. And at this moment. At sea. Cough, 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 cough. A fleet that turned into wreckage in the sea of fire. The white knight's eyes are cold. Driving a small boat, he arrived at a world government official holding a charred wooden board and looking down from above, unable to stop begging for mercy due to fear. Slowly speaking. Misunderstanding, is it possible? White Knight's eyes flickered with coldness. He has lived in the town where he has lived for over thirty years for so long. I have never heard of paying heavenly fees before. Furthermore. Even if there is really one percent misunderstanding. Will the world government care about the survival of an ordinary town? Even if it's destroying a kingdom? In front of the behemoth of the world government? I'm afraid it's just a trivial matter. This is like. Will humans deliberately care about the life and death of ants? The answer is. No. Never. This is a world where the weak cannot survive. Since the rocks era until now. Never had the right change. Although Bai Yi served in the navy for forty years. But Bai Yi never believed in the justice of being late. Late justice cannot be considered justice at all. Rao. Rao me. You have no idea what you have done. You old man who should have been eliminated by the times. Even if you kill us, things won't end like that. No, that's right. Those guys are just the lowest class of commoners. With your strength, if you're willing, I can help you recommend a noble adult who is currently in the West Sea. Cough. Cough cough cough. Not far away, a severely burned surviving member of the world government coughed violently while choking on water. He suppressed the uncontrollable fear in his heart. Looking at that person who was not taken seriously before. At this moment, it is like the aging body of a demon. With a stroke of luck, continue speaking. If you are willing to serve the world government, I can guarantee that you will receive more, no, a higher status than now. Say it. Seeing Bai Yi seemed to fall into silence. His eyes lit up. In fact, there is immense hatred in my heart. As long as he can survive this time. With his position in front of the world government and the Tianlong people. I will definitely let this ignorant old thing in front of me know how foolish it is to dare to take action against them today. However. Various ideas are constantly emerging. The sudden scene left it frozen in place. I saw Bai Yi first glance at the other lucky survivors with cold eyes. Then, Bai Yi waved his flowing blade like fire without hesitation. In an instant, just a few heads flickering with disbelief soaring high in the blink of an eye, there was only one living creature left. 
How, how could it still? The world government man who witnessed the changes in front of him couldn't believe what he was looking at. Murmuring to oneself. And at this point. The voice of Bai Yi rang out again. The noble gentleman you mentioned earlier can now continue to speak. P.S. New Book's first day flower evaluation ticket, all support Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. 006, The Madman Who Dares to Provoke the World Government and Aims to Destroy the Town. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Beihai. The wreckage of a raging flame on the sea is here. You. Will definitely regret it. Old man, you have no idea what you have provoked. Daring to provoke the world will be a consequence that you can never predict. It seems that this is your last words. After speaking, let's set out for the sins you have committed. On the deck of the ship alone, Bai Yi held a flowing blade and raised his hand like fire, looking down at the man below who was staring wide-eyed before dying. Wait. Wait. A member of the world government, a man, had just spoken in terror. Shua. The arc light flashed by. A head instantly soars high in the sea. Warm blood splashed towards the sea. The head that fell into the sea had a face full of fear and trembling. They all demonstrate until death. He had already told the old man the consequences of provoking them, and even used his position to lure the other party. But. How did this old thing return it, how did he dare? Crazy, crazy. This is the last thought of a man's consciousness before falling into endless darkness. There are really lunatics in this world who dare to provoke world governments. This won't be the end. Bai Yi put away his flowing blade like fire, his gaze fixed on a nearby orange-red flame occupying the sea. Then his gaze turned to the direction of the destroyed town and he murmured. This will be the beginning. White Knight's eyes flickered with coldness. Through the live mouth left just now. Bai Yi has fully understood the causes and consequences of everything that happened in the North Sea. Not enough to pay the sky gold. As White Knight knows. It's just a facade. Its true purpose in destroying towns that have been inhabited by White and Knight for over thirty years. It is the season when the world government should collect heavenly gold from countries around the world every year. But since the beginning of the Age of Discovery, the North Sea has long been a land of constant wars among various kingdoms, with mafia families scattered and pirate infestations, firmly occupying the reputation of the most chaotic sea. In addition, some kingdoms in the North Sea possess impressive military power. For example, the former Don Quixote family, the Jelma 66 family, which had powerful mercenaries and once dominated the North Sea. The indirect or direct impact of the world government has almost plummeted in the North Sea. So. Some people are trying to make the kingdom and power of Beihai obedient and recognize who is the true sole master of this world. They plan the destruction of urban areas during the process of collecting heavenly gold. Specially chose to be close to the naval branch. Its purpose is precisely to inform all forces in the North Sea. As long as the world government has ideas. Even killing innocent civilians in front of the naval branch. The actions of the world government will never be hindered. With the strong force of the world government, there is no need to abide by any rules. Because the world government. The creator who creates rules for this world. At the same time. When destroying the town next to the White Knight responsible branch. Bai Yi also learned about it. This won't be the first, nor will it be the last. According to the original plan. It is necessary to fully establish a strong image of the world government in the North Sea. Especially during this special period when the naval government is about to collide with the Whitebeard pirates. The world government does not allow any force to dare to cause trouble at this time. So the people who designated the plan are crazy and want to destroy dozens of towns in the North Sea. Their external excuses will all be due to insufficient payment of sky gold. Nature. At this moment. As the fleet of these three warships turned into ashes and debris, 
they fell into the waters near the G.64 naval branch. This plan has been abandoned in the future. Or rather, designate the person for the plan. Specially recruited the most advanced warships under the world government from the Great Route. The purpose is to deter many forces in the North Sea. But even the person behind the designated plan. I never thought about it either. In this perfect plan to deter North Sea forces. Surprisingly, there are really lunatics who dare to stop. Ignoring the enormous pressure brought by the world government at all costs. Even. This madman only used one knife. And destroyed the fleet of three of the most advanced large warships under the world government. At the same time. Because war is imminent at the summit today. The attention of countless people around the world has been focused on the war between the Navy headquarters and the Whitebeard pirates. This indirectly led to another thing happening. After the collapse of a fleet sent by the world government to collect heavenly gold in the North Sea. When the naval government and the world government discovered that a fleet had lost contact. Time has passed to two days. And at this moment. The entire North Sea. We are about to encounter a major event that can shake from the North Sea to a great voyage. Fei Lu's novel. Fei wants you to look good. 007, a meeting interrupted by the Navy headquarters, warring states period. North Sea, something big happened. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Two days later. Seagulls skim through the clear sky. Marin Fando. Naval headquarters. A conference related to the future fate of the naval government and the world is being held as scheduled. I saw a large oval table located in front of the conference room. Sixteen rear admirals in the Navy headquarters. Two naval generals. In addition, the current Navy Marshal Warring States, General Staff Officer He, and others. Most of the senior naval officials gather here. This serious lineup. I believe that if ordinary people were here. I will definitely tremble uncontrollably due to the atmosphere emanating from the entire conference room. After all, it's hard to imagine this small conference room. At this moment, almost all the highest naval forces are gathered. Whether it's a fearsome general with a reputation outside. He is also known as the highest ranking naval general in the world government. Even a marshal holding the highest command authority in the navy all gathered together. This can also be seen from the side. The degree to which the Navy headquarters attaches importance to the White Beard pirates. However, just as this meeting was held as scheduled, everyone put forward various deployment strategy suggestions. Suddenly, Naval Marshal Warring States received an urgent order from the world government. I have to temporarily interrupt the current meeting. The remaining senior executives in the conference room couldn't help but look at each other in confusion. Marshal of the Warring States period. What happened? Being able to interrupt such an important meeting should be more like encountering something urgent. The rugged-looking rear admiral of the Navy headquarters, Hugh Oshishin, stared at the door of the conference room and couldn't help but scratch his head. The rear admiral of the Navy sitting next to him nodded in agreement. But he didn't think much either. But rather reflect on the content discussed in the meeting just now. The captain of the second team of the White Beard Pirates, Fire Fist Ace, was executed this time. Based on the reliable information discussed in the meeting just now, the White Beard Pirates are almost certain not to sit idly by. Although this is at the core of the Navy's plan to bury the White Beard Pirates in one fell swoop. But just to be on the safe side, Someone just proposed to convene the seven martial seas. Kawehai, on the surface, is a pirate with the legal plunder qualification issued by the world government. So now, when the navy needs combat power, it's also time to let the usual seven armed seas contribute. This proposal. Many naval lieutenants, including the flying squirrel, unanimously agree. Being a worm for so long is not for nothing. Therefore, the only trouble that comes with this proposal is. 
It's about how to get those usually arrogant seven martial seas to participate in the plan one by one honestly. The flying squirrel couldn't help but show a cold expression when it thought of those seven martial seas. Not for a while. The warring states period, which had just left, also returned to the conference room. Marshal. Marshal of the warring states period. Upon seeing the return of the warring states period, everyone felt relieved and prepared to continue advocating their respective proposals. However, something unexpected happened that everyone present had not anticipated. I saw that compared to the previous meeting, the focus of the warring states period was on the white beard pirates. Returning to the conference room at this moment, the face of the warring states period was almost black to the extreme. Glancing around, my attention was focused on the generals and others in the white-bearded pirates. After a moment of silence during the warring states period, he said word by word, the meeting will be temporarily cancelled. Marshal of the warring states period, about the military strength of the white-beard pirates. And so on. Cancel the meeting. What's going on? Halfway through the proposal, everyone in the conference room immediately reacted. Rear Admiral and others, including the Flying Squirrel, showed astonishment on their faces. What happened? Temporary cancellation of the meeting. They didn't hear it wrong, did they? Hey, hello, Marshal of the Warring States period. May I ask what exactly happened and why the meeting needs to be interrupted? Rear Admiral Doug Mann, whose face was covered in scars, couldn't help but stand up, his face full of disbelief. As one of the navies involved in the demon slaying order incident back then. Doug Mann belongs to the same hawkish navy as the flying squirrels and others. He had originally thought of using the white beard pirates to value family relationships and distance the other party's proposal. Now it is heard that Marshal of the Warring States period wants to temporarily interrupt the meeting. This made Doug Mann extremely uncomfortable and he was eager to know what had happened. Surprisingly, it was possible to temporarily interrupt the meeting that was currently the top priority of the Navy headquarters. What happened? The Warring States Period Not far away, General he looked at the Warring States Period with a puzzled expression on his face. During the Warring States Period, I heard words. The ugly face did not improve. But instead, he glanced at the doubt spreading throughout the conference room. The Warring States period took out a document that had just been obtained from outside the conference room. With a slightly heavy expression, he slowly spoke up and said. Something big happened on the other side of Beihai. Beihai. Suddenly, I heard the name of the Sea of Chaos, which was not very familiar to the naval headquarters stationed on the Great Route. The senior naval officers present were mostly confused. Beihai. In their impression. Beihai has always been synonymous with the most chaotic sea among the four seas. Pirates, mafia, family power, and constant wars between kingdoms, any one of them is extremely headache-inducing. It can be said to be a very troublesome place. Can. Even so. What exactly happened on the other side of Beihai? How could you forcefully interrupt this incredibly important meeting? You should know that the final outcome of this meeting will affect countless people outside the world in the future. But even so, Marshall Warring State still chose to temporarily interrupt this meeting. The faces of the general and others flickered with disbelief. And in the central corner of the conference room, the flying squirrel heard the name, Beihai. I couldn't help but suddenly recall a small matter that he didn't take to heart two days ago. However, even so, the flying squirrel did not associate with the direction of the white knight. After all, he is a retired veteran. Even if he disobeys orders and leaves the navy, what can he do alone? And at this point, the warring states period spoke up. It's heavenly gold. Hijacked. What? Heavenly gold. Are those guys in Beihai crazy? Surprisingly, Someone has set their sights on the heavenly gold that is being offered as a tribute to the Tianlong people. 
Upon hearing this, many generals in the conference room couldn't help but turn pale. The flying squirrels first thought upon hearing this. It's also that crazy people have appeared in Beihai. Heavenly gold. As is well known, that is the wealth that the world's government member countries pay annually to the Tianlong people. And things that can be associated with the nobility of the world whether placed in the sea or on a great voyage. Almost any rational person understands the consequences. However the flying squirrel had a bad premonition in its heart. If it's just heavenly gold, in the warring states period, if it were just heavenly gold, wouldn't the world government personally issue orders to you? The crane spoke at this moment, with a hint of solemnity on its face. Upon hearing this, the shocked admirals and others couldn't help but widen their eyes. Is it, did something more serious happen in Beihai than the hijacking of Tianjin? My heart was fluctuating, and many eyes in the conference room couldn't help but focus on the Warring States period. The Warring States period felt the converging gaze. Subsequently, the Warring States period, whose face darkened, nodded uncontrollably amidst the fluctuations in everyone's hearts. Gritting his teeth, his face was extremely solemn, and he added. That's right. The most troublesome thing on the North Sea side is not the heavenly gold, but the youngest son of the Ross Saint family who lives in the Holy Land on that ship. Ross Saint the youngest son of the family. Hmm. Wait holy. This title. Everyone heard the words. Difficult, is it? Heaven, Tianlong people. Immediately, any naval lieutenant who reacted immediately. They instinctively took a sudden breath of cold air. Immediately. A crazy thought flashed through my mind. Beihai. Someone over there is really crazy. Pay attention to those who dare to strike the sky gold. Almost equivalent to provoking the world government. So, with the addition of the Tianlong people it could even be the heir of a future Tianlong family even if the naval lieutenants present have experienced many events. At this moment, I couldn't help but feel a bit shaken. What kind of madman has gone wrong on the other side of Beihai surprisingly dare to make such crazy moves? Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. 008 The route between the North Sea and the Great Sea has been sealed off. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. On the other side. Beihai. The Navy headquarters received a temporary interruption of the meeting not long ago. In front of an important road near the inverted mountain strait. This is a must-pass route from the Great Route to the North Sea, or from the North Sea to the Great Route. No matter what vessel, it is no exception. Even if it's a frigate responsible for escorting the heavenly gold. And today. It was during the round-dot-trip period of the first batch of warships to collect sky gold from the North Sea. A ship that can only accommodate one person. Stop here. At the same time. It is precisely this single-person ship that appears extremely insignificant in the face of the boundless sea. But it blocked the whereabouts of a giant object. At this moment. The command room of a giant warship escorting gold from the sky. Rear Admiral Roth, who is in charge of this escort operation, is pondering deeply. How to please that esteemed guest from the Holy Land. If that esteemed guest is happy, please help him put in a good word in front of the Admiral. Maybe he will be directly transferred to the Navy headquarters. So during this period, Roth almost put out all his housekeeping licking skills. But even so. Beauty. Wealth. Slaves, fine wine, everything I can send has already been sent out. Roth raised his head, unwilling to look towards the field, on the second floor of the warship where no one was allowed to approach. The esteemed guest on the ship is about to leave Beihai. If I miss this opportunity to please, maybe my future life will come to an end. Watching the route on the chart getting closer and closer to the great route. Roth suddenly let out a low growl. No, we can't just forget about it. I've already gambled on everything. Think carefully, what else is there, what else can we do? Right, right. 
Roth's gaze suddenly caught sight of a screaming slave who had been tied to the front end of a warship the day before yesterday and was enduring torture in the wind, sun, and sun. Roth's thoughts flashed by suddenly. Based on his observations over the past few days that esteemed guest seems to enjoy watching the meaningless struggle before the death of the ant hammer. If Roth's heart fluctuated faintly. If he could find a few towns along the way. Then the leader of the Shanghai thief's nest will be annihilated anyway, dead people won't speak when the time comes. Is it not up to him to say whether it is a commoner or a pirate? On the contrary, if you really please that adult. His future may have a chance. As for whether the matter will be exposed in the future. Roth is not worried. After all, once successful. He will be transferred out of this haunted place in the North Sea. Anyway, those lowly people in Beihai are either plagued by the mafia or pirates all day long, and even struggle to get enough to eat. So since sooner or later they will all die. It's better to provide value to General Roth than to be burned, killed, and looted by pirates in the future. Thoughts surfaced, and Lot's eyes showed a cruel glow. However. Don't wait for him to exert his licking dog skills to perform well. Suddenly. The entire warship escorting the heavenly gold suddenly came to a stop. And because the stop was very sudden. Boom boom. The entire giant warship produced a noticeable shaking sensation. Major General Roth was unstable and fell directly to the ground. But he didn't worry about his bleeding nose, instead he looked at the forbidden spot on the second floor of the warship with a frightened expression. There must be no trouble over there. Fortunately, accompanied by a heart-pounding fear, Roth did not hear the sound of anger coming. Ha a hanging stone fell to the ground. So the first task now just figure out what exactly happened outside. Are those bastards going crazy or not? Don't the idiots under their command know that if it's just an ordinary escort of heavenly gold, it's fine. But now, is there a noble existence on this ship that is less than one thousandth of the total amount of heavenly gold collected in the entire North Sea? Once the distinguished guest is not well received. Don't mention his dream of promotion and leaving Beihai when the time comes. Maybe even his rear admiral's hat will be lost. With this thought in mind, Roth quickly walked towards the deck of the warship. But it's not yet time for Roth to ask why the warship stopped. As Roth discovered that almost everyone on the deck was silent, the group found it hard to believe and looked not far away. Roth frowned at first. Subconsciously, he followed the gaze of everyone on the warship. The next moment hiss. Even as a rear admiral in the navy. I have witnessed various strong winds and waves in the North Sea. Facing the unforgettable scene that appears ahead. Roth couldn't help but take a cold breath and his heart skipped a beat. I couldn't help but rub my eyes first, and then instinctively exclaimed in shock. What? What's going on? Only see. Escorting the heavenly gold to the front of the necessary route for the great voyage. That used to be a strait that crossed near the Red Earth continent as long as you pass through there, you can leave the North Sea and reach the Great Route. The route should have been like this. Memory, there is no mistake. However at this moment. In front of the sea area in front of the escorting Jean warship in the sky. Placed but the red soil continent on the side seemed to have been partially cut off by some kind of terrifying slash. As countless huge red stones piled up on the sea. Firmly connecting the route of the North Sea to and from the Great Sea Route seal it up. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. 009, One Punch. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Are you deceiving or deceiving people? What exactly happened before? Even before. Staring intently at the sea passage ahead, a cold sweat couldn't help but slide from Colonel Roth's forehead. Although the blockade of the navigation route could temporarily prevent his beloved, distinguished guest from leaving the North Sea. But the problem is delayed the escort of the heavenly gold and not returning to the great route at the originally scheduled time. Once it annoys the person on the ship. 
don't talk about his ambition. Whether or not the major general's hat on his head can be preserved is definitely another question. At the same time, looking at the countless red stones on the Dead Sea Road, even if he immediately sends someone to clean up now, but the huge amount of work that can be seen to the naked eye is clearly impossible to complete without a month's time. Roth felt a hint of madness. What exactly is going on here? At this point, Major General Luo and Lot. There are people in front. The equally shocked Navy on the warship reacted, and the lookout Navy suddenly noticed an unidentified ship ahead at some point, and quickly shouted down. People. Roth heard the words. Looking ahead, it seemed as if there were countless large red stones ready to seal off the sea route. My face couldn't help but change slightly, and I suddenly looked ahead at the sea. At the same time, the brain is running rapidly. Pirates. The Mafia family in Beihai. Or the rumored, revolutionary army lunatic. Those guys, no matter who they are. Is it the responsibility of one party to block the important route from the North Sea to the Great Sea ahead? Are they crazy? Not to mention, blocking the Beihai Expressway in just half a month would require at least a thousand troops. This is not an ordinary escort for the Jean Army ships in the sky. Dare to take action against it. That kind of consequence, but even the entire North Sea cannot bear it. Roth instinctively scratched his scalp. Suddenly, with the rapid rotation of thoughts, Roth suddenly realized. What appears in front of the sea route are not the overwhelming pirate ships, or some mafia obsessed with treasure, and the main force of the revolutionary army scattered in the North Sea. Blocking ahead there is only one ship of unknown origin. At the same time, Roth couldn't help but widen his eyes. Are you joking? That ship it is neither a warship nor a pirate ship. It's a single-person sized ship made of pure wooden boards, 4.6 meters long and 1.4 meters wide. And standing above, there was only one person with gray hair and wearing a spotless white shirt old thing. Major General Roth was dumbfounded. An old thing that is about to be eliminated by the times. On the vast sea. Alone a ship. What does this mean? What about those bold and daring people? Various emotions surfaced in my heart. Immediately, Major General Roth felt a strong feeling of being manipulated. Bite your teeth secretly. Exactly. Unable to find the target for venting. This kind of old thing that comes knocking on the door voluntarily, fire. Without hesitation, the command was given in a cold voice, filled with anger and unquestionable. At the same time, it's really ironic that anyone who can come up with destructive means to intimidate the North Sea would be a member of the Navy. At sea, the seagulls that lifted their heads and skimmed through the sky withdrew their gaze. Facing the warship ahead, which is transporting the sky gold giant with a height exceeding 50 meters. A hint of indifference appeared in Bai Ye's eyes. Immediately. Bang. 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 With the sound of continuous shelling from the distant behemoth. Dozens of pitch black shells flew in. Bai Ye's face was not flustered. But instead, he lifted his right hand, clenched his fingers slowly, and his veins gradually rose. I'm no longer in the Navy, so I don't have to worry about being a member of the Navy anymore. My eyes sank, and the light gradually cooled. Witnessing shells flying in and out of my eyes. One bone. The moment the sound falls. Tear it off. Baye's right hand clenched its fist and suddenly shot forward towards the sea. That's right. The target of the bombardment is not those rapidly approaching and magnifying shells. But rather the location of the massive warship ahead the sea. At the same time. Just as the White Knight's right hand blasted out. It's like punching first. The sudden sound boom that followed. The next moment. A strange and terrifying scene occurred in the eyes of everyone. 
Bai Ye's fist fell towards the sea ahead. The entire ocean showed no response at all. But in the moment when the shell in mid-air was less than ten meters away from White Knight. Bomb. The sea ahead suddenly exploded violently. Transform. A terrifying impact was like a giant sea king overturning the ocean. Instantly tearing apart the sea with terrifying black holes and huge wounds. Visible to the naked eye. A large amount of seawater is pouring back crazily. The flying shells exploded in an instant. At the same time, that behemoth warship with a height exceeding 50 meters I only feel a flower in front of me. I haven't realized what happened yet. Boom. The sea ahead exploded with a loud bang. Countless splashes and columns of water soar into the air. And. Following closely behind, the sea surged forward with an incredibly powerful impact. If the sudden docking of a warship earlier made the center of gravity unstable, many people would be unable to stand firm. So at this moment. Defense. Defense. Witnessing the overwhelming waves sweeping ahead. Major General Roth froze in place for a moment, suddenly regained consciousness, and quickly screamed wildly. However. Just when I was screaming the front end of the massive vessel escorting the gold in the sky has begun to deform depression. An unprecedented impact has arrived. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward.